going kind of back to the the mayor aspect, and I guess actually that sort of ties into just your your the actual first day that you play in town, your, your first arrival. When I started my town, I was I sort of had this preconceived notion of what my first day in Animal Crossing is going to be, based on all the other times that I've played this series, and was really surprised at how many. Like well, obviously, it's changed because you step off the train and you're the mayor, but there were a lot, just a lot of other subtle changes all throughout the game that you see right away that kind of struck me. Can you guys talk a little bit about what some of those changes are, or sort of how that first day? kind of betrays your expectations? I think even before you get off the train, um, everything is fresh. You know, for the first time, you actually get to choose the layout of your town before you get into your town, um, which is huge. So choice, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't tell you how many times I backed out of old <laughs> games, you know, went through the 20 minute startup and it was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> delete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a big one. Yeah, good. Well, I think what struck me um, when I first got off the train, kind of, you know, went through the initial sequence, was the lay of the land. Um, it's really interesting how the the map is now. You know, you've got Main Street. When you first move in, Main Street's a pretty sad place. Um, it's all boarded up, and and you know, looks like there's not a whole lot going on, but you can see the potential there, which to me was really exciting. Um, and then you've got the residential area, which looks a little bit familiar, but um, you know, as mayor, you'll be able to, it's, that's, a, that's your blank slate. That's your area to play, which I think was really exciting. And then you've got the beach area down below. So when I first started up the game, I, I saw a lot of potential there and I got really excited about you know, what, how I was gonna affect the space that I was moving into. Mm -hmm. the, other thing, the other thing that really surprised me was, you know, I go around on the first day and I'm like, okay, I've gotta shake the trees and get the fruit. You know, I need to find the rock that's got the, I hit the rock with my shovel and the money pops out and very quickly I was like okay I've got I've got fruit and then I have perfect fruit I'm like what do I, what what's perfect fruit and and I'm looking for that rock and something else popped out of a rock and I was like whoa 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 I don't even know what to do with this and I don't want to sell it because I don't know what it's for because I might need it later and then I'm like there's retail and then there's there's the uh, Nookling Junction and I'm like which one do I sell my stuff at? <laughs> You're like, getting the pure experience. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is going to be on the internet like, what popped out of this rock? <laughs> the second this game comes out. <laughs> I was just amazed at uh, like all the subtle changes all throughout. Yeah. I, Where, I, I, to be honest, one of the things that, I mean, it, I, it seems like we overlook it, but one of the things that struck me first is just the look of it. I mean, mm -hmm. it looks, the 3D on it just works so well for me. I mean, the, the hybrid sort of scrolling, semi-rolling, view mm -hmm. and um and the 3d for me even though i was looking at i mean the art is very familiar and and should be i mean i like i wanted to go back to that familiarity but even s stuff like trees look different to me popping out of this 3d screen I mean, it, it really worked i like the effect of the like different weather patterns too with the 3d mm. seeing snow falling yeah, things like that. Really cool. oh yeah the cherry blossoms are amazing yeah so pretty much the the first person you meet in town is Isabel. What can you tell me about Isabel? Isabel is a go-getter. She's a hard worker, very dedicated to the town and the happiness of the residents. Um, Animal Crossing is one of those games that, you know, there's not one path that players have to go down, but uh, certainly as the mayor, there are, you know, you have responsibilities to your, to your town and to your residents, and, She's the one who'll keep you on that path. Um, so, if you're the mayor of your town, absolutely, you know, go talk to Isabel. She knows what's up. She knows what's coming. She knows what's best for you. Um, so, yeah, she's she's a great character. I really, really, really like her. Um, so, I'm hoping that players will enjoy working with her as well. She's kind of like the Reiko and Anne of Animal Crossing. <laughs> Secretaries. <laughs> no. <laughs> go getters. <laughs> Is she, she's, so she's the secretary? She's, she's your secretary, but you know, she's, she's got a lot of experience under her belt, so. Yeah, she's, she's a little more proactive, too. I mean, she's like a, she's a civic force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's great. I actually understand that she has her own Twitter feed now and is uh, going to be sharing lots of information about Animal Crossing, uh, both as we get closer to launch and after launch. Mm -hmm.